long back then, we're going to a two hand swing. Punching and driving those hips forwards. Just taking that kettlebell to shoulder height. Back's nice and long. One arm swing. Switching arms. And take it to an alternating. Again, driving those hips through, long back. Taking the kettlebell to the chest, driving the hips back, sitting it back and down, a goblet squat. From here, we'll take it squat to an overhead press. Squat to press. Back into that right hand then, down to a clean. Down to clean. Again, back nice and long. Get that elbow tucked in. Switch hands, work equally each side. Let's go back to that right hand. Now let's add in a press. Down to clean, to press. Switch hands. Okay, right hand with that kettlebell. Take a big step back in a rear lunge. Keep that chest lifted. Everything's in alignment. And we just sink that back knee. Sink the hips down into a static lunge. Changing sides. So here's the front view. So if you look, everything's in alignment. Hips, knees, ankles, toes. Just dropping those hips down. Now we're gonna take it to a figure of eight. So we go through the middle, pass it behind the knee, use that hip drive to really get that bell back up to the middle. Figure of eight. Okay, let's take that kettlebell back to the chest. We're going to do a rear lunge this time. As we come up, we do an overhead press with a knee raise. Stay on that same leg.
Changing side. It's that lunge backwards. Press with the knee raise. Okay, back to those swings. Let's take it to a high swing. So we're taking it right overhead, using that hip drive, really punch and drive, stretching up. Okay, take the bell back to the chest, narrow squat. Feet and knees together, really sit it back and down. We're looking for those L lines in the body. Again, that back's nice and long. Okay, right hand with the kettlebell. Lunge backwards on the same leg. Pass the kettlebell through. Back to standing. Lunge back, left side. Back to standing. Okay, we're going to do a high pull now. So again, long spine, dropping the kettlebell down, and then we pull the elbow back so that you can see the bottom of that bell. High pull, really power it back. Changing sides. Okay, let's rack that kettlebell, go back into a squat, and then that one arm press. Try and keep those shoulders level. Squat with a shoulder press. Again, change your side. Squat to a press. Okay, no pun intended with this one, but we're going round the world. So, we twist and lift that back foot, take the arms up high. Again, stretching it up. both hands in the kettlebell nice wide stance for this one wide sumo squat so again push those hips back to start the move sit it back and down to an upright row so take those hands to just underneath the chin keep the elbows nice and high so you can see I'm sitting right back keeping that back nice and long let's protect that lower back all the time Okay, back to that right hand. We're going to take it to a snatch. Another real powerful move, this. So we punch the air with that kettlebell, snatch it up, locking the arm out. One of the few times we lock out a joint. A snatch. Changing sides. Really power it up. 
Let's get rid of all that frustration. Okay, two hands again. So, watch the foot placement, hip width apart, soft knee. There's a soft knee, there's a lock knee. We want it nice and soft. Back's nice and long. We hinge from the hips, so we're hinging from here. Look how straight that back is. You should feel the stretch in this deadlift all the way down the back of your hamstrings, down the back of the legs. Keep that tummy button pulled in towards the spine. We're working that core, we've got nice control. Okay, feet a little bit wider, down to chuck. So down, punch it up. So this isn't a swing, it's a chuck. Yeah. 45 degrees. Get it down low, punch it high. Down to chuck. Okay. Setting up then, step out swing. So we step out, swing, step in as the kettlebell comes up. Step out, swing. Let's go on the other side. Really using that hip drive. Okay, a couple of isolation exercises then. A bell side up press. Want that hand right in the middle, look, yeah? It's much harder to control. It's gonna work those shoulders a lot harder. Try and keep the shoulders level if you can. So we do both sides, pressing up with control. Okay, so take the kettlebell to the chest again. This time I'm going for a forward lunge with a rotational twist. So twist it round to the side of that leading leg, back to centre. Yeah. Nice big step, twist it round, push back off that front foot. So these big moves are working everything. We're bringing in core, upper body, lower body, lower back. We're really getting the heart rate up, burning calories. And we're working in a really small space. So at home, these kettlebells are literally worth their weight in gold. Okay, let's go back to that two hand swing. Now we've got the hang of it, we can start to speed it up. Never add on speed and lose form. Form is key with any exercise. You get the most benefit. So let's add a little bit of speed to these movements. Okay, back to an isolation exercise. Bicep curl with a knee lift. Slow it down, it's harder, yeah? So curl the arm up, take the knee with it, and slow it down on the way down. Go on the other side.
Again, another isolation one. Tummy in, shoulders back and down. Just a front raise. Tiny little bend on the elbows. Letting those shoulders do all the work to keep that body nice and still. Don't cheat. I know if you're cheating. Just bringing it up to the front with control. Let's control these sort of moves, yeah? Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, if you've got a lighter weight than you might normally use, just slow it down. Time under tension. Oh, it's going to work even harder. Okay, taking that bell overhead then. We're going to do an overhead tricep extension into a calf raise. Again, control it. Drop that kettlebell down as far as you can. Look where my elbows are. I've got them right in. Yeah, don't let them flare out. Let's really work those triceps. Onto tiptoe. Control it down. Okay, let's have a go at a windmill. So, foot placement. One foot's facing forward, 90 degrees. Yeah, so these heels are in alignment at the back. Get that kettlebell to the front, soften those knees. Arms are in alignment here. Bring the kettlebell down, arms are in alignment down at the bottom of the move. Yeah, let's speed it up a touch then. Windmill. It's a variation on side bend. But really watch that arm placement. It gives you a much better stretch. Again, change sides. Turn the feet round. Other hand, up goes the arm. Down we go. Okay, let's take the kettlebell onto the floor then. Renegade row. Nice high plank, the kettlebell's in the middle. If you need to come to your knees, make sure you've still got that plank position, yeah? So your bottom isn't too much in a box position, so we've dropped it down, yeah? So from here, keeping the hips facing the floor, we're just rowing back, alternating sides, trying not to swing the body. So this rowing movement, we're pulling the elbow back, what I don't want to see is that sort of swinging of the hips. We want to maintain that plank position and just row it back. Okay, let's sit it over onto the floor. Russian twist, oblique twist. So we take the kettlebell from one side to the other, get the shoulders round, take the eye line round, lift the feet off if you want to make it a little more challenging. Try not to wind the body too much. Let's work into those obliques. Turn it back over. Okay, this time, take the kettlebell out in front. We're gonna tap, tap the kettlebell, tap, tap the shoulders, tap, tap the hips. Again, try and maintain the integrity of that plank. Okay, back onto our backs. This time, we're gonna lie back, take the feet into the air, and just pulse that kettlebell to the toes. Yeah, let's really work those abs. Okay, roll it back over. This time, the kettlebell is to the side of the body and just behind. We're back in this plank position, again, on your knees if you need to. Under and through, under and through. We're nearly done, flutter kicks. So, your choice, you can have your shoulders on or off, holding that kettlebell overhead, and we're just going to crisscross those legs. Easy option, up high, more challenging, 
Down we go. Okay, we're gonna do a curl up with a pull over. So we take the kettlebell overhead. We're only bringing the shoulders off. Squeeze and hold at the top of the move. Let's progress that on to a full sit up and punch that kettlebell out. Roll the spine back down. Again, let's look after that back. And that is your workout with these little beauties. Have a good day.